Pandora friends, my name is Leanne and I am mad for Pandora. Today I would like to welcome you back for another video. Today is going to be mostly a haul video. But first I would like to show you what I did with my little bees. So this is just the small size of the open bangle in the essence. And I absolutely love this little bracelet, little bangle. Now, as you can see, I've added the three little bees, but I've put the little stoppers around each one because originally I didn't have two here and this middle one was going crazy all over. So I did buy another stopper. Aren't they so cute? This is super comfortable to wear. Just sits on my arm, doesn't do anything. It's not heavy or annoying or anything. I just think so you guys might appreciate seeing what I did with them. I'm actually surprised with the Pandora Me that they didn't keep the open bangle because it's definitely an easier to wear um, bangle than the round one. And I like that it keeps the charms on top. Anyway, first thing I'd like to show you in this haul was the beautiful daisy flower safety chain. Now I've been keeping an eye out on the on online store for a little while now and every time I think about getting this safety chain it's out of stock. So the other day when I was looking they had everything in stock that I'd been chasing and wanting for a while very cute, very dainty. Definitely very sparkly. And if you look closely, there's a tiny little CZ in the large flower, but not in the small one. Okay, the next one that I've been wanting for a long time is actually Robbot. Now I have Ballabot and for the longest time I didn't have a clue what to do with her. I used to wear her on a necklace and yeah, it was sort of like one of those charms that I kind of wish I didn't get because I didn't know what to do with it. But then I got little Bobby Bot when he was getting discontinued. And he's a super cute little puppy dog. And I thought, our family plays Minecraft. And of course we love our dogs as well. So I've added this, started adding the family to my puppy dog bracelet. So of course I needed Robot to be my husband and he's so cute like I love the little rose it's completely adorable love how his little arms and legs move I actually think he's much better than Bellabot got the little 925, S925 ALE pretty cute so he's going to complete the family and the last thing I got was another one that I have a bracelet that I'm building and I won't tell you what it's about yet but this charm is very important to what I'm doing
It's sort of not a charm that I would have otherwise got except for this bracelet that I'm building. It's perfect for it. As soon as I saw Pandora bring it out, I was like, yep, it's definitely the charm that I need to represent what it represents. It's super duper cute. I love how it's got the love and the little symbol on top there. And the little pink heart. It's got quite a lot of detail. They're just a few that I've been wanting to get for a while. Now the other thing I got with that purchase was the Australian Mother's Day gift with purchase. Now I don't know how many people have seen this or I haven't actually seen anybody do a review on it yet. So I thought I would give my opinions. Now it looks really cute. It's got forever love engraved. You can see that there, it's quite shiny. And then it's got the little infinity symbol dangling underneath. Now I was quite excited to get this bracelet until I basically put it on and then I was a little bit disappointed and I'll tell you why. Because when you clip it together, a lot of people are going to struggle with this. If you have a look at the back, See how they've got the infinity symbol coming out and the little link. When you squeeze it together, oh, it actually puts a little groove in your finger. It's quite hard. And I know I'm a bit more sensitive than most people. My hands, but I just think it wasn't the best design to put it on the back of the clip like that. You'll know how much trouble it is when there's little gold dots. Now the other problem I have is I usually wear my heart facing up my arm and of course then it doesn't dangle properly at all. But even wearing it down your arm, the heart doesn't want to sit. Put it back in. Okay, now the heart doesn't want to sit this way because if it's sitting on your arm, no matter which way you use it, it should sit like that, right? But it just wants to do that. So while it looks good on that angle, it should actually be sitting this way. And now this is only the size 17 and it's possible that the larger sizes have more like room here to move or less or more tension against them. Whereas at least for the small one, it does not want to sit like that on your wrist. It wants to sit like that, which when you've got a dangle underneath, just literally dangle straight onto your arm instead of dangling down your arm. I hope I've explained that well. I've never really had a bangle that's kind of a disappointment if you know what I mean. I mean it looks great, the idea is great, but I don't really like the execution of it. Anyway, please keep that in mind when you're thinking about whether you're going to get it or not, whether you're going to give it as a gift, because in my opinion, it's not that great as far as being comfortable. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you was a pre-loved find that I've just got from eBay. And I'm really excited to get this, this charm. It's called the Life's Path Charm. 
So this has got diamonds set in 14 karat gold. It's actually 0 0.03 carats of diamonds. Now I gave this a little bit of a clean and a polish when I got it, but basically it looks new. It's had a very good life and I didn't pay heaps for it, so I'm really happy about that. It's got the stamps on the back there. I've seen a few people with this on Instagram. It's very beautiful. I do actually have the ring for this that matches. See how the ring is actually cut out, but the charm is not. Charm's just got like a groove with oxidization in it, whereas the ring is literally a cut out. You can see my skin through it. So I'm very happy with that. It's quite weighty. Beautiful charm. I have a bracelet to put this on as well, so super stoked about that. Now I would also like to show you the new Mother's Day catalogue, but I'll have to zoom out to do that. Okay, so when I received my order from Pandora this week, I did actually get one of these catalogues, the Mother's Day catalogue for Australia, in my box which I was very excited about because I do collect the catalogues and I wasn't going to the store so I'm very excited to get this. Just thought I'd give you a quick look at it since I know there's a lot of people that may not be able to see one or get one. Still got some of the oldies in it but it's got a lot of the new stuff. Definitely a lot of family related, mum related bits and pieces in it. Something I really, really love, but I obviously haven't seen it in person, is this little bride and groom. That is so adorable. And I really love this bracelet. The idea of it, the look of it. The only thing I'll have to worry about with it is what size to get. I really love this bracelet. Very pretty and this charm here is gorgeous but I wish it didn't have the mummy written on it because if you look at the back of it on the website the detail on that charm is incredible could have just been a like a plain heart with nothing written on it If anyone knows, can you tell me whether other countries have this bracelet as a permanent addition or whether it's just a limited time? Because in Australia it is just limited time. I 
love all this dog stuff. we go so I hope that was helpful and um, there might be something in there that you're interested in but you can always go to their website as well anyway thank you so much for joining me today and I hope you like the new things that I bought I'm looking forward to being able to put them on the bracelets I bought them to put them on and please like this video if you liked it and subscribe and leave a comment below see you next time